Welcome to this awesome tutorial on NOSR Web. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to write blog posts, properly format and publish your articles on Blogger. Once you go to blogger.com, you make sure you sign in here with the right email address for your blog. To write a new post or article, you go ahead and click on new post here and you'll be greeted by this amazing interface. The first thing here is the title right here. So let's say we are writing about AdSense tips to earn more money. And for the purposes of this tutorial, I already have a 340 word article that I'm going to use as a case study. I'm just going to paste in the rest of the content. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to click somewhere within this entire text and press Ctrl A to highlight everything. Then over here where it says paragraph, I'm going to choose normal. You see what happened there? After choosing normal, it formatted the entire article the way it should be. One thing you should always do is you should always use this preview button over here. Click on this drop down arrow and click on preview post because we want to see how our article is going to look like. Go ahead and click on this smartphone option. It shows you how your article is going to look like on mobile. And the next one to the left is tablet. Click on it. And finally on desktop. Now before I go further into how to properly format your post, I just want to address an important issue about Blogger. And that issue is the fact that Blogger as a content management system does not have any option for changing or customizing the line spacing. So what we're going to do right now is press Ctrl plus A to highlight everything, Ctrl plus C to copy. I'm going to head over to my Microsoft Word document. I'm going to Ctrl V to paste what I've just copied. I'll press Ctrl plus A again to highlight everything. I can now use the line spacing setting here on Microsoft Word. I found that 1.5 line spacing is the best for blog posts. So now that we've formatted our post to 1.5 line spacing, we're going to cut it or copy and go back to Blogger and just do a Ctrl V to paste. Now if you notice, we are right back on paragraph. Remember we changed our text from paragraph to normal before. So we're going to do the same thing now. We'll click within the text, Ctrl plus A, and come right here and choose normal. The next thing we're going to do is to force our text to be uniform. Scroll up here where you have font type. These are the fonts you have at your disposal. If you need more fonts, you can come here click on add fonts and you'll be able to add more fonts but i usually go for the default font for whatever theme i'm using so go ahead and click on default font and these are all the options for the font sizes i prefer to always select the medium font size i find it's more legible for the readers so let's go and preview it and see how it looks. Let's see how it looks on mobile. It looks a lot better than before. Perfect. Now, another issue I'm seeing right here is the color of the text. You'll notice that the main body of your post is a little bit faint. So we're going to fix this problem right now. Let's close this preview page. We're right back on our article on Blogger. Now, to solve that issue, we're going to highlight our entire article once again by pressing on Ctrl plus A. 
then over here on this a symbol click on it these are all the colors at your disposal it's currently on the default color but unfortunately on blogger i find that the default black color is not black enough so i figured out a way to solve this problem go down here where you have this plus symbol click on the plus so what i want to essentially do right now is find the darkest shade of black come over here on your hex values click delete all of this leaving only hash then type in 030303 and click on save so what we've done right now is that we've made our text a lot darker and more legible more readable now we go into other important aspects to find images we can go to websites like pexels.com or pixabay.com in order to find blog images to use you can use either of them but for the purposes of this tutorial i'm going to use pexels.com you can type in a keyword for the type of image you're looking for in my example i'm going to type blogging and let's go with this first image i'll click on it and hover over this drop down arrow here is an important tip make sure you always choose the smallest image size available so click on small and click free download then i'll go to the image location right now this is the image we just downloaded right here and if you can see the file size is 65.4 kilobyte so we're going to do one extra step please make sure you always follow this next step whenever you want to add images on blogger because the new google search engine algorithm has included the core web vitals into its ranking factors and one of the major contributors to a very poor core web vital score is slow site speed which is majorly caused by large images so what we're going to do right now is we're going to go to a website called photop.com photop is just like the online version of photoshop so i'm just going to use photo p for the purposes of this tutorial what we'll do is come right here on file click on open we then go to our file location and hit open so essentially we want to further reduce the size of this image we just come here and click on image image size when we downloaded the image it was 640 by 413 but we can come here and reduce it further to like 375 just go ahead and click on ok and finally while we're exporting this image we're going to export it in the format webp webp format is the recommended format by google so go ahead and click on file this time around we're going to go here to export follow this arrow to more and right up here we have the webp format click on webp then with this slider you can choose the quality choose 72 or 70 percent and click on save all right let's check the attributes of these images side by side this is the original image right here 640 by 413 and the file size is 65.4 kilobytes now the next one right here is the webp file format it has a dimension of 375 by 242 pixels and a file size of just 11.5 kilobyte you can decide to put your image at the very start of the article before any of the texts right here i personally prefer putting the image right after the first sentence or paragraph right here to import an image or thumbnail on blogger come over here on this icon it says insert image click on it for this tutorial i'm going to upload from my computer 
go ahead and click on choose files then select your image click on open next click on the image here to select it and click on the select button it goes ahead and imports your image into your blog post right here click on the image then go down to this setting wheel right up here where it says alt text make sure you type in a keyword you want to rank for and and you can copy this as well and paste it here this alt text right here it's extremely important for SEO search engine optimization under sizes you can go with medium or large then click on update next I'm going to show you how to add subtitles to your article so right here we have this section that says AdSense tips this should be a subtitle go ahead and highlight AdSense tips and we can go ahead and flesh out this subtitle by adding something like seven awesome AdSense tips you can actually change the font of your subtitles and mini subtitles go here to font type I normally choose Arial font for my subtitles because I find they look better on my laptop and my mobile phone something else you can do to make this subtitles stand out more it's to come here to font size and choose largest now the other formatting tools at your disposal are pretty standard just like Microsoft Word you have bold you may choose to bold in some elements of your article I'll go ahead and show you how to add links or hyperlinks to your article for example since we're talking about AdSense here you can highlight AdSense go ahead and click on this icon here that says insert or edit link so assuming we would like to send our readers to this publisher resources about AdSense you click there you come up here and grab this URL we grab that URL go back to our blog select only this box go ahead and click on apply and if you'd like to add bullet points to your article what you do is come right here where you have the three horizontal dotted line click there and right here you have your bulleted list you now have a bullet list where you can type the elements of your list so if you don't want to create any further bullet lists what you should do is double click on enter as fast as you can and, and finally before I show you what to do before you publish your article over here I'm going to show you how to embed a YouTube video so for instance let's say right here you'd like to add a mini subtitle like watch this video to learn more you can go ahead go to YouTube and type what I'm looking for for the purposes of this tutorial I'm just going to use H educates video here you have to copy the link over here make sure the cursor is exactly where you want the video to be right under this mini subheading right here towards the right of this image icon is the insert video icon click on it you have two options upload video from computer we're going to use insert video from YouTube option click on YouTube then hit on search now go ahead and paste that link that we just copied from YouTube right here and hit on search and it goes ahead and pulls up the video click on it to select then select expand and we're going to make our article live by going ahead to hit publish but before we do that you have to create a permalink for your article 
So what, how to do that is you scroll down here where you see permalink. So what Blogger does is it pulls up your title and makes your title the permalink. If you can see right here, it already says your domain name, catalystblogintutorials.com slash the date slash AdSense tips to earn more money with .html. So if you notice, the automatic permalink, it's not complete. It was cut off. So if you'd like to use a completely different set of keywords for your permalink or your URL, you go ahead and click on custom permalink. Please make sure you type every word in lower case in small letters like AdSense. You add a dash after every word, tips dash to dash earn dash more dash your blog. You can type whatever you want to type here. It must not be the same as your title. You can do proper keyword research because, because you'd want to put your most important keywords right here in your permalink. So go ahead and scroll down here. We have search description. In this search description, make sure to also put your target keywords copy your title here and paste it over here and probably copy other text and paste there. So now that we're done with all of that, go ahead and hit publish. This will publish this post to your blog. Confirm. Right here is our published post. It's now live on the internet. I hope my tutorials are helpful on your journey. See you on the next one.